You can feel the pressure building inside you like a bomb ready to explode. You rush straight to your little brother's room, he's playing with some toys on the floor, and you're ready to bust some hot beef straight into his face. It's gonna be hilarious, stinky, and extremely epic. You kick the door open and cram your little brother's nose between your cheeks, your hot blast of personal air conditioning whipping his hair straight back. But other than a bit of strange taste left in his mouth, there's no stink, no odor. Your ass-powered Hiroshima turned out to be one big dud, because everyone knows the basic formula of fart comedy. Volume plus potency squared equals hilarious. Why did your butt trombone fail you like that? Why do some farts smell like Diddy's breath after an all-night rum steak buffet, and others slip past detection like a ninja assassin? And how did farts change the history of the planet as we know it? It all comes down to your gut, the part of your body responsible for fueling your personal tuba. The large intestine is where the party goes down. This is where carbohydrates that haven't been digested by the small intestine will sit long enough for bacteria to start chowing down on them. This process of fermentation results in the release of a lot of gas as a byproduct. The fact that you're alive and breathing oxygen is actually due to this exact same thing happening on a global scale. A few billion years ago, Earth was crawling with bacteria in a no-oxygen, carbon dioxide-filled soup. No one's sure exactly how these bacteria survived, but what we do know is that once cyanobacteria cracked the code for photosynthesis, the fate of the entire planet changed forever. Photosynthesis allowed cyanobacteria to unlock incredible levels of energy in a process using sunlight so efficiently that scientists have spent billions trying to replicate it. Oxygen, though, became a byproduct of that process. And as cyanobacteria outcompeted other simple life, their numbers grew exponentially. Eventually, they released so much oxygen that it actually caused one of the most catastrophic extinction level events in all of history. That's right, ancient bacteria literally farted an entire planet into extinction. The bacteria in your gut release their own gases as a similar byproduct, though thankfully not in large enough quantities to change the atmosphere and kill us all. The composition of those gases depends largely on the food that you eat, and carb-heavy foods are going to produce more and smellier gas. The foods that cause the stinkiest gas include lentils, which are naturally sulfur-rich and create a rotten egg smell. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and cauliflower also have a high natural sulfur content, as well as insoluble carbs, making a great addition to your butt-powered chemical warfare arsenal. Fatty foods take an extra long time to digest, and this slows down the whole process, inevitably leading to fermentation in the large intestine and the release of lots of gas. Spicy foods can create potent odors, especially when combined with eggs, which have methionine, a compound rich in sulfur. What we've given you is basically the recipe to power a thermonuclear ass Nagasaki, so remember, with great fart power comes great fart responsibility. You might have noticed a running theme through the foods we mentioned. Either they prolong the digestion process, cause a release of large amounts of gas, or are high in sulfur content. The latter is the important bit for making farts smell because it's the sulfur compounds that add that special Hershey squirt aroma to your finest eau de anal offerings. Other gases actually make up the majority of farts, but are odorless. 99% of a fart's content is useless gas like hydrogen, methane, and carbon dioxide. That magic 1% comes from the sulfur. So if you were interested in creating the ultimate fart, a fart powerful enough to earn you a binding UN resolution and inclusion into the Geneva Convention's list of war crimes, how could you go about it? Well, you want a good mix of delayed digestion, high gas release, and sulfur. Take notes, kids, as Infographics unlocks the secrets of fart chemistry. First, you'll want to cause lots of fermentation in the large intestine. This means you need to slow down digestion. High-fat content food can be tough to properly digest, inevitably leading to your entire digestive tract shutting down due to a traffic jam. While waiting to take that final ride out your poop chute, bacteria will work on the contents of your stomach to release gas. You need to give them the right fuel, though. A big plate of leafy green vegetables is high in fiber and will release a lot of gas, giving you content. You want to make sure that those vegetables are something like broccoli or cauliflower, thanks to the high levels of sulfur they possess. Next, top those vegetables off with the hottest hot sauce you can legally purchase inside the United States. And there's only one choice. Pure Evil by Texas Creek is a hot sauce distilled from the drops of sweat harvested directly off of Satan's taint. It's not even actually hot sauce, it's technically a food additive and a clear liquid, with the recommendation that you only include a few drops with your meal. At 13 million Scoville heat units, Pure Evil strides a fine line between food additive 
and chemical weapon. But it will absolutely give you a fart that will kill on smell. A fart so bad it'll come with human casualties and likely blow your own cheeks off. Now go check out 20 things that your body does that you don't know why, or click this other video instead.